Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Peachy and this is Plant and Style. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun because we have a couple of unboxing to do. Yes, I said a couple because we have two shipments coming in and these are actually in two different dates. Um, one is two weeks earlier than the other and this video will also include a four month update of the plants that I will be getting from this imports. So if you are looking into importing some plants, especially from Equigenera, I hope that this video will help guide you into the process of the acclimation so you will have a successful import. And if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and leave a comment down below for any future videos that you might want to see in this channel. And follow me on Instagram at Plant and Style with Peachy. I post a lot of planty photos over there and some reels lately. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. I think there are two plants in here that are replacement from the previous ones that I ordered that did not make it. And yeah, I can't wait to open this box. So let's just get started. Here we go. Right there. Hi, my baby. Anthurium Waraquinum. It's a little bit crumpled, not crumpled entirely, wrinkly, but here we go. It looks nice. Okay, there's this white stuff at the back. What is that? Next plant is Philodendron corrugatum. All right. Oh no, not again. Okay, so the next leaf, I mean the next plant is definitely damaged once again. There's breaks. <laughs> Maybe it's not meant to be. This is probably not good to be shipping around and stuff. This is not making it. That is so bad, look at that. Okay, let's check the roots. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just gonna place it in water for now. Right there and rehydrate. Right there. Hi, Mama. Hi baby. Hold on, let's just let's check the roots on this one. Hi, Mama. Yeah. Hi, let's check the roots. You want to check the roots, Cassie? You want to check it? Wow, look at that. Oh, 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 nice. All right, yeah, this one definitely looks. There are some damages. <laughs> My baby singing. It's so pretty. I really, really hope that this will survive this time around. Oh my goodness. But as far as the philodendron corrugatum, again, <laughs> he's down to a stump. Well, actually, it's got this catafil right here, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to survive. Yeah, I already trimmed off these um, two leaves since they were already flopping out. It's bent and it's on its way out. Anyways. I am so, so excited. We have another one coming since um, they are resending the forgetty eye also. Yeah. And the box is finally here. I've been wanting to open it so bad. And now I have to be quiet because my baby girl is sleeping, but we need to open this up. 
Oh, there it is. Anthurium forgetii white stripes. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's definitely bigger this time. Wow. It's so pretty. It's got two leaves and they definitely look really like pristine this time <laughs> it looks so perfect look how big that is that is huge oh my goodness it feels so velvety and thick it's nice and um gonna check out the roots this time you can see that uh, there's a aerial root that's coming out over there and Look at that two leaves and Just plump healthy roots. It is gorgeous and as you can see there's two uh, growth uh, leaf growth as well this one right here and then there's another one that's coming from this petiole and yeah very very happy with this look how gorgeous this leaf is oh it's huge so happy with this one I have never seen this in person, but whoa. This is Serenoi Velvet. Um, it's got two leaves. It's a little bit wrinkly. I don't know if it, it's supposed to be like that or probably is thirsty, but definitely velvety. It's almost like Queen Anthurium. I love it. Let's check out the roots. Some soggy rotted um, root right there. But, and there's another one. Okay. So I'm gonna trim that off actually. Um, next one is Anthurium. Metallicum. Um, um, oh no. So there's a bunch of damages. This looks like it's a little yellow. This one's probably going to be gone pretty soon oh that's too bad it's it's the biggest leaf and here's another and there's a couple damaged ones right here what is that and there's another one that is not looking cute right here what is this so this is not what I hoped for, honestly. I was hoping to get a bigger one of these. Then again, you'll never know with them. Sometimes you get a big one, bigger than you, what you expect and yeah. But I just hope that it's good, the roots are good. So 
So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six leaves with one on the way. Pretty good. All right. Again, in to a jar of water to hydrate. Doesn't want to go in. All right. Here you go. Here it is. This is the Anthurium Metallicum. That's too bad. It's not looking too nice. This is probably going to go bye bye. Oops. All right. So, last but not the least is this big boy. <laughs> it's pretty big. I am kind of nervous about this one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, there is brown leaf in here. Uh -oh. But that's okay, that's the old leaf. And yeah, this is the philodendron rubri juvenile or the El Choco Red. So, there's this big chunk in here, and then a little tiny stem that's connecting it. I don't even know if you still need this one, but um, there's blackening with the root system, so we're going to have to um, clean this up. Okay, so I think some of them is, are just really, really dry and I'm gonna um, put it in a jar of water and then see it even more in a few just to see if it's gonna plump back up. I am really, really hoping this would plump back up because it's that leaf, that newest leaf is just stunning. Look at that. Wow. It is so pretty. So here you go. So that's it for now, guys. I will give you an update, of course. So why not let's take a look at these plants four months later let's start with the worst one of course we have the philodendron um, corrugatum well there's not much going on in here four months later but to be honest I thought that this was already dead I did stick it on moss um, just in case and um, ch I chopped the rotted part and I was hoping for if I would be able to revive it and there is two growth points there's one right there and another one at the bottom down there if you can see that so yeah philodendron corrugatum it's still alive but I will not um, 
recommend <laughs> this plant as import or um, I don't know about you guys but I am not very uh, lucky with philodendrons uh, coming from imports so it has to be given to me for free before you can convince me to get another philodendron from import to be honest with you the next plant is the Anthurium warocoinum. It did give me a new leaf, um, which was here. It just came for a visit, unfortunately. <laughs> it decided that it did not want to stay for long. So yeah, we, we have this two original leaves left and um, yeah, I'm still waiting for new leaf. I'm um, quite sure that this plant is gonna do well in time and it looks like its, its roots are healthy and white and yeah, I think that this plant is doing just fine. It's not looking its best at the moment but that's just kind of how it goes with all these imports. Um, it takes time for them to um, acclimate to your new environment and to get pretty again. You basically are going to lose every single leaf that it came with. If you're not going to lose it, they're just going to turn like ugly because it will show all the stress that it went through the import process. And that's how I've seen it so far um, from my imports. So yeah, still very happy with this one. I can't wait for the new perfect leaf. And then the next one is Anthurium forgetii white stripes. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me anymore. She doesn't live here anymore. I have gifted it to my best friend, but I will leave a picture of how it looks right now the last time I checked and so far she was doing great and fully acclimated had no is issues whatsoever the next plant in my import update is this anthurium serenoi velvet this were the two original leaves that it came with the import and finally after four months it gave me this uh new leaf right here and this plant lives in a mill spoke cabinet in a southeast facing window and getting just natural light all day from the windows, no uh, grow lights. But it's inside a cabinet and it's living its best life, I think. Yeah, doing well, but currently in mill spoke though. So I'm still gonna have to acclimate this into uh, outside of the cabinet I think for it to be successful right okay so let me just put this away the next import plant update is this anthurium metallicum this were the original two leaves that was left with me and this is the newest leaf that came under my care and look at the size difference the size jump from the originals to the new ones it's well acclimated this lives just right here right here actually right there and in ambient humidity i'm so happy about that and it gave me this leaf so I think that's fine and it looks like the caterpillar is here and hopefully it's going to give me another one soon so yeah another successful plant import guys the last plant that I want to show you is just amazing and I'm so so happy as how well it's acclimated into my environment it cannot even i cannot express how much i appreciate this plant but this is the philodendron rubri juvenile of the el choco red uh, it's a mouthful but i don't mind it and these are the oldest leaves that it came with 
and one, two, and three right there. And check out this new leaf that grew under my environment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that pretty or what? Look at that. It's so like pillowy is it and velvety and uh, don't forget the the red back <laughs> it's got this hold on it's hard to show right there it's got the red back as well and oh my god here comes a next one coming soon can you believe that the next one is going to be bigger than this one I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's in a um, pond, but I have it in a. I'll show you how I did this. Um, this is before I was confident with my watering potting skills. I have a sleeve for it so I can easily drain. Um, and flush it you know it has a drainage i i put some holes on them and yeah and i have this vessel as a reservoir <gasps> oh my god i cannot believe it just happened are you okay i'm sorry oh my god i cannot believe so yeah the last time i did I actually put half of um, I filled this vessel with water halfway through when we went on vacation and um, I still have a little bit left and it's been um, 11 days so far so yeah and I don't think it minds it at all I think it loves it it's definitely thirsty constantly and um it loves it loves this vessel i think and this substrate and my environment i don't give this a lot of light i have it sitting um right here exactly it's on top of um this pot to give it a little bit of height and that is definitely a very successful plant import considering how much i paid for that one that particular one was so cheap it was 35 dollars or something like that amazing amazing plant for amazing price and yeah that concludes all of the <laughs> plants that i have for you guys today and the number one and the main tip that I wanted to share with you and this is from Equagenera themselves is to put your plants in water for 24 hours or less don't go more because if you go more than that your plant will start to decline you move it into the substrate of your choice whether it be soil pond or leka the 24 hours in water is more than enough for the plant to recuperate rehydrate get all the strength it needs to acclimate to it, your environment tip number two is to provide humidity for your newly imported plants because these plants are used to this kind of environment where they used to be so give it to them let them recover and gain their strength back once your new imported plants are fully recovered and the way to find that out is if you see new signs of growth like roots or leaves or be it flower and then you can transfer it or move it to a more permanent place of your choice considering the plant's needs or in its environment and yeah you can do that slowly again that requires another acclimation process which is basically just introduce it to a new place one day at a time you know 
and that's it for today's video guys i hope you learned something and if you like this kind of video please don't forget to like and hit that notification bell down below so you will be notified when my future video drops and i'll see you on the next one bye